What's going on? This is my life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. I wanted to bring you guys a story out of Houston, Texas. This is going to be a man who went to a jewelry store, bought some jewelry, had some cash on him, some cats across the street, followed him to a crib, and robbed him. Here's the crazy part is that the dude, the victim, took an Uber to the crib. Now, man, hey, every time I'm driving to the crib, I'm watching cars. And if there's a car making way too many turns with me, I'm not going to the crib. But dude took an Uber home. I cannot stand a thief now. A lot of people moving from New York, Chicago to Texas and bringing that rob them, bang, bang, shoot them up mentality to those cities. Now, everybody's trying to get away from this weather, the violence, the crime, and they're taking it to these spots. Listen to this news story. The parks feet away from his own girl. Now to a developing story and frightening video released by Houston police. It shows a man being attacked by robbers in his own garage. Police say the man was followed home from a jewelry store. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker is live in Southwest Houston tonight. Taisha, this is a good reminder for all of us shoppers to make sure we stay vigilant. Was that man hurt? Chris, good evening. We know that he was hit in the head several times, but otherwise doing okay. Houston police believe that the men that attacked him may have been watching and waiting for him to leave that jewelry store on Richmond here across the street from where we're standing before they then followed him home. You can hear the victim crying out for help as two men armed with a rifle and a pistol hit him over the head several times and robbed him in broad daylight in his driveway. Less than a minute prior, the men pulled up to the home in the Cotton Grove neighborhood in a black Charger Hellcat. The driver parks feet away from the victim's home. The victim exits the Uber that he took home from a jewelry store and grows suspicious of the car. As he tries to run inside of his home through his garage, the two criminals got to him first. We do specialize in some of the higher-end products. Rob Sosa was across the street at his CBD shop and started recording on his cell phone after the criminal's car caught his attention. It was just kind of creeping back. I uh, made the U-turn over there, came back and... Uh, just stopped, opened up its doors, and left his doors open. Police say the masked men got away with the victim's bag, $3,000 cash, and a couple thousand dollars in jewelry. The victim was left shaken up. Their property is now on the market for lease. Those that knew the victim say he moved out of the house about a month after the incident out of fear that the robbers would return. Sosa says he still keeps in touch with his old neighbor. He's, he's been doing great. Uh, he's got a whole new fashion line coming out. Yeah, Sosa tells us that the victim is actually a fashion designer. We tried reaching out to that man ourselves today, but hadn't heard back. As for those two robbers, they remain at large today. Houston police need your help if you recognize any of them, although they... So, these are the suspects here. Um, here's what they're saying about the suspects. The suspect description. One of them, black male around 5'8 to 6 foot tall, 170, 200 pounds, white blue and red jacket, possibly a Tommy Hill figure, wore a mask, light blue skinny jeans, um, basketball type of shoes. That could be any damn body. Suspect number two, five, six, five, eight, 200, 203 pounds, white zipped up hoodie. They left in a black charger, Hellcat. They, it could be anybody, honestly. And my thing is, did y'all hear that? He do put his house on the market right away, man. And when I heard the description, black male, I... Every look, I follow a lot of news stories, not only on the YouTube, I follow every uh city news stories and world star media takeout, TMZ, every news story. And I hate to say this, man, but it's the usual suspects. We doing bad and we doing bad, y'all. We doing bad. Do say and, and do say he moving out the community. And honestly, I used to be like, man, every time we move into the community, they move out, man. What's wrong with them? Now I'm like, hey, I don't blame them. I'm going to be all the way up buck. I don't blame them. Because everywhere we go, man, they go to the neighborhood. Also, hey, get y'all a ring camera. This happened uh, over here. Get y'all a ring camera. This is the surrounding area. This is the 200 block of Cohen Street where it happened. I think it happened right down this alley. Let me check out this alley. Hey, can I go down the alley? No, not in the alley. 
happen down here, right here. Yeah, this is Cohen Street, 200 block of Cohen Street, right here. So, happened right down here. Now um, to a developing story and frightening. So, you know, man, it, it's cheaper to live in Texas. There's a lot of job opportunity in Texas. And, you know, I, I say to people, man, that's migrating from the big cities, New York, um, Baltimore, um, if y'all gonna go down to Texas, some of these southern states, man, find one that ain't burnt up yet, man. We didn't burnt up Atlanta. <laughs> a lot of us with the, uh, Miami and Florida is a nice little spot to migrate to. Good weather year round. But dang, as soon as we move in, they move out. And, you know, you gotta be aware of your surroundings. If y'all see somebody following you, suspect somebody following you. Don't go to the crib. Horrible idea. Bust a few, go to another. But why was he taking an Uber? He obviously had, the, the victim had a car in his driveway. Why would you be holding $3,000 on you? Could have been an inside job. Somebody told him how much money you talk too much. Loose lips sink ships. They were watching you. They knew how much money you was going to buy me, how much money you was taking out the crib, how much jewelry you had. You was a fashion designer. They plotted that. It was an inside job. And yeah, dude's right to uh, sell his house. He had a car in the driveway. Why didn't you drive? He was on something else. There's more to this story that we don't know about. Could have had some drugs in the bag. I don't know. Allegedly. Could have. I wouldn't doubt it. Them cats knew who to get. And they was on something. Had masks on. Granted, it's uh, COVID, but those are ski masks. Those are ski masks. Those are robbers. Had a rifle and a pistol available. They knew he didn't have no security around the crib. Hey, y'all, if, if there's concealed to carry, get those concealed to carry. Get those concealed to carry. Anyway, we doing bad collectively. As a people, y'all, we doing bad. Every single story I see is us. Every 98% bad. I was just thinking, please don't be us. Please, then. as soon as I seen the suspect description, I said, oh, goodness. Anyway, those on Facebook, go to YouTube, go to My Life in the Shy, My Life in the CHI. Houston Crime Stopper. They got a robbery unit that are looking for these cats. That code of silence, man, is finito. We need to get rid of it. Because we letting these cats and these chumps rob our mothers, our brothers, our sisters. Then they're going to be these innocent people in our community catching a bullet. Little girls, babies dying everywhere around the country. Anyway, make sure y'all go to My Life in the Shy YouTube, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video, hit uh, hit that uh, bell button so that when I go live, everybody can come in there. Most of my lives on Facebook. I want to do most of my lives on YouTube. Anyway, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.